welcome back. Hashtag bum barnacles. Let's do it, people. <laughs> Ellie's still at the pub in Christchurch, um, so me and Greg thought we'd finish tonight at the pub too. Yeah, Craig Stanaway's on Ponsonby Road with the next big thing, two rap comedians, and you'll never guess who's representing them. The two of us will see you tomorrow. Good night for now, though. Yes, when the producer said to me, go and interview a manager of a band, I thought, this is not really me, until I found out who the manager of the band was. This, Reese Darby, is really life imitating art. Indeed it is. You know, Craig, people often say to me, where do you get your ideas? You know, where do, where do things come from for you? And I really think it's the mysteries of the universe. Nothing's planned. Things just fall in your, in your lap. You never, I, I, you know... I never really discovered these guys, they actually discovered me. You see, Headlove ran into me while I was jogging in the park in Edinburgh. He had a flyer and he said he was a rapper. I said I'd come to the gig and I went to the gig and I like rap, you know, so it wasn't a hard sell. I'm not a good singer but I like to rhyme and I can beatbox. I'll give you an example. <laughs> But here's the thing, Reese. right? People at home are looking there and thinking, is this guy being for real? But I'm telling you, this is for real. Reese Darby actually is the manager of this band, and they are a casino rap band. And it sort of reminds me of Revenge of the Nerds in 1983, where they had that band. You sort of know what I'm talking about. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't seen that film, Craig. Yes, you have. No. Because there's the Naked Girl in it. You've definitely seen it. But anyhow, that's another I've story. I've seen Porky's. But the reality is, this is a serious thing. Yes, Reece, you are. I, I enjoyed, I, I loved what they did. You know, it's a fantastic performance. And they said to me, uh, you know, we want to make it. I said, you know, do you want to make it big? And they said, well, we want to sort of make it sort of, you know, mediocre. And I said, right, we'll come to New Zealand. <laughs> uh, and, and it would be remiss of me not to say, has Murray Hewitt given them any advice? He's given me some advice. He's, he's quite hard to get hold of, actually. But he did write to me. And what was the advice? He said, uh, make sure they're facing the front and, and they drink plenty of water. All right, so here is the premiere of their album. I'm going to leave it to you. You can finish off Seven Shops tonight. There we go. Oh, oh wow. No. Go and do it. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a pleasure uh, to be uh, hosting uh, Seven Sharp. It's an honour. And I want to uh, bring to the attention of the New Zealand public all of you that are watching this tonight, the most fantastic rap band that's ever been from Cornwall. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the stage now and introduce them to the whole crowd here tonight. Here we go. I'm gonna use this mic so everyone can hear me. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, are you ready? All right, this is it, you know. Here's a funny story, I'll tell you anyway. What is life about? Well, it's about letting things flow. Things landing in your lap, not planning anything. And for me, this is something that was unplanned, but just made perfect sense. I've brought it to New Zealand, and here they are for you. Please welcome to the stage, the one, the only, Head Love and Passman. Lunch. 
man, I don't be getting up till after lunch. Cause I'm doing it. Yep, I'm doing it. Directly doing it. Yep, we're doing it. Directly doing it. Yep, I'm doing it. I spent longer in the bathroom than Elvis Presley. Cause I'm doing it. Yeah, I'm doing it. Directly doing it. Yeah, we're doing it. Directly, I lost my remote down the back of the set. He didn't find it for a week. Cause I'm doing it. It's the way down here. Way down here, we don't do much in the day down here I can't get a job or get paid down here But there's nowhere to spend it anyway down there That's okay down there 